You may have a shrink you're going to or a best friend you're going to but there's only 24 hours in a day. And you're alone you may have a shrink you're going to or a best friend you're going to but you're alone your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. My initial reaction was, okay, man, how am I going to make this work? Growing up, all I heard was, you got to work hard, you got to work right it out, and guess what happened? I started learning the material. I get it, I get it, I can't swim, I'm negatively buoyant, I can't swim, in sight. I gave myself no way out, and my mind realized that they said okay we're going to adapt and overcome now like a lot of people say trying hard they are mind not. I told myself after the first time that this could be a long journey there because my body was breaking down. And it was just how it was going on in Navy SEAL training, and that I saw no WTF was going on. This is now the norm for me, your brain tells you that if you're not injured, you can't possibly be a Navy SEAL trainee. So you mentally toughen up and wonder how you managed to run on broken feet and shins. But my brain knew that this is how we operate, after all, we are Navy SEAL trainees and this is what we do. I love God, but for a little while I became the devil because that was hell. I immersed myself in the role of CEO of Navy SEAL training and told myself I could do anything. Tours in 97 pounds and fat as hell trying to be a Navy SEAL was the scariest thing in the world to me even to this day was that, that could have been the rest of my life. I thought then that 2 or 97 pounds working for Ecolab spraying for cockroaches making $1,000 a month was me at my 100% potential. I found out a few years later that I was not even close to that. When people hear my tale, they automatically assume I'm a sadist since, as my new normal, I've learned that this isn't always fun and isn't always meant to be entertaining. I'm a scared kid, and that's what gives me so much power, I had no foundation, and I built this off of just researching the mind. The feeling you get is basically invincibility, you realize that you can't do it all the time when you need to do it. I know I can go to a place that I can live in, I know I can run on broken legs. I know I can do certain things that a lot of people can do. But the knowledge that you have this ability, you don't find peace first if you do Merry Christmas more power to you. I found peace on the other end of finding myself, and no one really finds himself without going through trials tribulations suffering accountability. And accountability is suffering being accountable every day for doing right for yourself. And the people next to you it's miserable and hard so you know even the smallest details you have to do right so you know. Even the smallest details you have to do right so you know even the smallest details you have to do right so you. Thank you for watching simply the most enlightening 10 minutes of your life and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please.